Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salian Consulting and this is another quick FileMaker tip. I'm still talking about value lists here, but I want to talk about using global fields to create a value list that you can use all over. Now in this simple example, I have a table that has student data and I have a table that has teacher data. And both of them are going to have this uh, drop down that asks about, your about a student or a teacher's favorite element. So you'll see it just looks like a regular old drop down. Well, this guy really likes zinc and their favorite music genre is rap, and their favorite instrument is the guitar. Now, what's so special about that, right? Well, the cool thing is that there's another table where all of that data is stored. So here is this values table that shows me all the potential options that could come from dropdowns. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why even put it in a table? Well, I think it's the reason we love FileMaker so much. You can do so much in a table. You can add more fields. You could add more, you know, which means you could have a bunch of more attributes. You could um, build a really nice user interface where the user is responsible for managing this list, which might be a little bit more intuitive than having to go through the manage value list for people who aren't used to FileMaker. So how did I make this work? Because again, these three fields are dependent on three different categories, right? Element or music genre or instrument. I'm going to look at my relationships and, and show you exactly what I did. In the other demo that I did, or the other FileMaker tip, I talked about context being really, really important. Well, we're standing on the student layout and we're looking at related values based on the word element, but student doesn't have anything related to it. So how does that work? The trick or the magic happens at the utility table. This table has one record in it, which is important, and it has a bunch of global fields. So if we take a look at those, you'll see that these three global fields have a hard-coded word in them. So the word element, or the word instrument, or the word music genre. In our relationships, I'm relating from utility over to the values table, and my relationship is based on the word element is what has to be in the field category. And then here we're doing the same thing with instrument. And then lastly, we're doing the same thing with music genre. The most important thing to remember is that these fields can't just be calculations. They do have to be globals. So just to drive the point home, if I jump into layout mode and just switch over to this teacher layout, these two fields don't have a drop down on them yet. So I'm going to say, I'm going to choose something from the drop-down list, and I'm going to choose this elements drop-down. Now just to show you how that's set up, you'll see that it is starting, it's showing me only related values, and I'm starting from utility, right, that one record table with a bunch of globals in it. And I want to see data from the table occurrence that is related by the word element. So the, the category field has to equal element. And whatever you see through that relationship, show me just the descriptions. So I can now add that to these two fields, and you'll notice that it works perfectly, just as if this were a regular, regular old drop-down, or if I'd actually put the word element in that table. Now what this really saves us from is that I don't have to create these three fields in every table where I need to actually show only elements, or only instruments, or only music genres, or whatever else it may be. So it really does save time because it's all in one central spot. You could expand this a little bit. You could have a global field that before you go into a dropdown, maybe you populate it with something. You say ZG and then you say dropdown type or dropdown category. And maybe you auto populate it with or you automatically popula populate it with elements on a script trigger. And then you see only those so that you don't have to have multiple uh, global calculations. Just an option, just a thought. But I really do think this technique is cool, and I really love the idea of abstracting my value list into a table. Hopefully you find this useful. Please leave some comments, and thanks for watching.